Austin, you've been on this team for a while. You ready to give some fans a deeper look into some of your posts? Let's do it. All right, I'm baby. ready. <laughs> I'm so ready. The feed is brought to you by Untuck It, shirts designed to be worn untucked. Visit untuckit.com. The first little hockey game, huh? Yes. My wife's dad has season tickets. He goes a lot. They're a diehard Ducks fan, gets love. Perry, all those guys that run the team. Big hockey guy, like hockey. Actually more of a Lightning fan, obviously, because we have spring training on there. Go to as many, many hockey games as I can get. I, I enjoy watching hockey. Is it one of your favorite sports outside of baseball? Absolutely, I would say uh, hockey, because there's more of it on a lot more, and then probably soccer. In, okay. In, in England, probably the English Premier League, but it's hard to watch that Sundays at seven in the morning. <laughs> That's right, soccer. Yes, there you go, there Little you go. action right here. I remember that. That was when the USA team played, I think it was Antigua and Barbado or something like that. And I got tickets. It's in Tampa. It was at the Buccaneers Stadium. It was a great day, and then right before the game, it started to rain, which made it perfect. So we went there and had a bunch of beer and watched soccer. Nice. That's awesome great. that you got to take advantage of them being here. Yes. Because how often are you going to go overseas to check out well, these Especially guys? when it was like during the time we are in spring training and stuff like that. I can't remember if we were in spring training or it was right before it started, but it was cool that they came there and it was right there, so I, you gotta take advantage of that. I think a bunch of guys went in the organization. Now, I've seen you sport some soccer gear inside the clubhouse. Yes. How many jerseys at home do you have? How many jerseys do I have? I have, I think I have like six or seven USA jerseys, all different names, Dempsey and uh, Donovan, a couple different ones, and then I think I have like 15 or 16 other cool ones. Wow. Like from every year, all three kits, alternates, home, away, uh, I mean, just a bunch of them from Torres and Gerard, Carrier, all of them. Which Johnson. one do you wear most? I used to wear my Gerard one a lot, but I was a big Fernando Torres fan. He's kind of what made me like Liverpool. This is way back when, you know, he was kind of in his prime and it was him and Gerard and I really liked watching them play. And it's a funny fact is uh, Fernando Torres just retired. All right, so we see the hockey photo, the soccer photo, Big yes. time WWE guy, because you look like you wear a belt really well. I enjoyed the belt. It was hard to get the belt, <laughs> and I got it, and I was pumped. It was nice to be able to hit in that situation, and the team having confidence in you, and getting it done. You can see that was a real smile, so. <laughs> Gotta work with the hair. I think I'm losing it all, but. <laughs> now you step into the wrestler's ring. What's your name? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I got I got Austin in my name, so I, I don't know. I think they can come up with something pretty good, but I, I wouldn't even know. We'd have to ask Tommy. I think he could give out a good one. Tommy. Right, we may the, have to get him on the walk thing. back. The name I would come up with would be the Ramblin' Row. I think that's a good one. You obviously love baseball, and you got a chance one day to walk around the stadium yeah. on a stadium tour with Rob Reston right there on the back. And some fans didn't even recognize because no, 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 you no. had the shades on, no, right? No, 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 it wasn't the shades. I love how you're being so nice. They just literally didn't know who we were. Sometimes they don't know until you tell them, but me and Ref were just kind of standing in the back nonchalantly. I was actually on the tour. <laughs> they were like, you want to do a tour? I was like, it'll be funny. You'll, you'll surprise them. I'm like, they want to know who I am. I just want to do the tour. So I got to do the tour, and then at the end they were like, oh, they play, and some people were like, they didn't know who we were. But Ref and I were joking around. We had a blast. Well, they were definitely into it, and your guys were obviously into it, yeah, too. See, taking, taking that cool photo or video yeah. with the GoPro. It was so hot. Too. That's cool, and you don't get to do that that often. No. Because obviously, like, right now, you're sitting inside the dugout. That's right. I mean, I, I definitely get a good seat, but <laughs> it was fun to do. Before games, it's out in Cleveland. Yeah. I started to do that, mm -hmm. and then I stopped because it was just going to get too much. I think it was early in my career, and it was just a beautiful day, and uh, it was the first time I'd been there. So I just wanted to take it in and post it out there. And it's weird, you're finding stuff. I didn't post, I, don't, I still don't post. I don't even have anything. Now, as loud as ballparks can be during a game, yes. can you explain to fans out there how relaxing it is before the gates open in times like this where there's not that many people here right now? Because yeah. like that. I mean, I don't know if you heard it, but a plane just flew over. <laughs> and you can yeah. hear every bit of it. Perfect timing. It's so calming. There's like a noise that you can't explain right now. Like you can hear it, but there's not really anything going on. It's calm. You can hear baseballs being chucked, the occasional yelling, baseball noise. And it's so calm and it's so easy to do your job and get ready and put in the work. That, you know, people come and see the game and it's loud and it's aggressive and it's fun. I mean, that's the best part of it. But this is when you're getting your work in and it's calm, you're at your office and you know, you're doing your work. Just so peaceful. All right. That's my guy. This is every Yankees fam dream to have a kid and 
have them decked out. In yeah, Yankee yeah. Gear. I mean, that was immediate. <laughs> we got gifts. Everything was Yankee for a while, but that was my firstborn, Benjamin. That was a very happy moment in my life. Probably one of the best moments ever. Every time I had a kid, it was the happiest moment in my life. This was special, though. I mean, first one boy out the way, and you know, he was perfect. Yeah. And, and we loved it. Amazing photo. And right here. Do the, any of them have or use the Todd Frazier blanket that you're holding and got on the flight? I mean, everybody got one. <laughs> Todd was uh, marketing marketing it out. What about the kids, though? Oh, yeah. Are the I kids mean, they're, all over, they're in our game room, yeah. Like, we got them all over the place. We got a <laughs> bunch of different ones. They're actually really comfortable blankets. I mean, he definitely did it, though. I think we did that as a joke just to, you know, get after him. Like, hey, everybody's got your blankets. But, I mean, he loved it. So pulling up this tweet. Chipotle. 2012. That's all that needs to be said. That was seven years ago. Yeah, man. Had to do some digging. God, man. Got to fill the fans I and give them what they want. I still believe that, though. I mean, I don't know anybody that doesn't like Chipotle. I'd like to meet them. You guys all like Chipotle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like everybody's saying All yeah. right, cool. We got, we got a total of five thumbs up. Absolutely. I think I did eat it when I was like 21, 22, 23. I think I ate it two or three times a day. <laughs> Like it was just like, where are you hungry? Let's go to Chipotle. And you just go to Chipotle and you need to kill it. What's the go-to order for you? Bowl, rice, black beans, chicken, half chicken, half barbacoa. And then, I mean, pretty much everything. I do not like the corn though. I don't know why, but everything else. And then I'll get like some tortillas. Like if you ever do this, this is a little trick. You don't even have to get a burrito. You just get a bowl. And then you, you can ask for like three or four tortillas and they're free. And then you can make little mini burritos. Yeah, I've been there so many times that I did not know that. Yeah, and they I'm going to give it a try. Those are tricks you learn, man. All right, so we see all these posts. And you do have a Twitter account, not an Instagram account just yet. Would you ever get an Instagram account? Or maybe post a little bit more often? Uh, I mean, I wanted to do that. I, I started to do it years ago. And then it just became time consuming for me. My wife has one. so. That's kind of how we stay up to date. I personally, I don't, I don't need it. I talk to everybody I need to talk to on the phone. And I know some people use this brand building and stuff like that, but I think I'm good, man. I had a Twitter, I, just, I haven't been on it in years. I think it's still out there though, but I don't do anything on it. But uh, I don't know, I kind of just stay in the moment. and I don't. I mean, there's a lot of negative stuff that can happen on uh, online, so I try to stay away from it. That's a really good outlook, though, because we do have nine out of ten people who are on it and are posting. So it's nice to hear the the other opinion of, of, yeah. of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, everybody's on it. Everybody has one. Yeah. And I, I get made fun of for not having them sometimes. Like you're so like, what are you doing, man? You don't even have one. I just don't need it. I talk to everybody I need to talk to, and and I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. The post that you do have made for a fun time. <laughs> So thank you for breaking them down. No worries, thanks for bringing up the past, man. <laughs> Always, baby. Another 20 years of this. I love it, I love it. I love it. I'm here for another 20 years and doing something right. <laughs>